Oh, hey guys welcome to our YouTube channel Technoholic. Today we are going to unbox the new launch smartphone Nubia X. The box of the phone seems usual and simple. Now let's see what is offered in the box. Now let's discuss about some features of phone. While local competitors like Vivo, Oppo, Xiaomi and Honor have been trying various sliding mechanisms to achieve all-screen, notch-free smartphone designs, Nubia decided to take the easy approach, getting rid of the front cameras and forcing you to use the rear cameras for selfies. This is why the freshly announced Nubia X is a dual-screen flagship smartphone, with its 6.26-inch FHD plus LCD covering almost the entire front side and the back featuring a smaller 5.1-inch 1520x720 OLED panel to go with the dual cameras. A bit like Yoda's implementation, except it's OLED instead of V-Ink on the back, plus no front cameras, of course. Nubia X avoids a notch by adding a rear display for selfies. Obviously, the main purpose of the secondary OLED screen is to let you take selfies using the device's only two cameras, 16MP f-1.8 and 24MP f-1.7 but this also means greater flexibility when using these main cameras, think awkward angles that would otherwise require crouching down or even lying on the ground. Nubia also claims that this camera's portrait mode uses AI tricks to analyze the subject's ethnicity, facial features, age, skin tone and other characteristics to set the right kind of beautification and bouquet. Similarly, the AI software has also been trained with over 4,000 scenes to automatically optimize images accordingly. In addition to being a camera-centric feature, the OLED side can also serve as your everyday screen. You can either let the Nubia X's behavior prediction software determine which side you're looking at, or simply touch both capacitive fingerprint readers, that's right, there's one on each side bezel, they also double as home and back buttons, to manually switch screens. When you're not browsing on the OLED screen, you can still take advantage of its always-on display capability and set a clock or live wallpaper here, and it looks pretty sweet. That said, Nubia clearly borrowed the beta fish idea from the Apple. Another feature offered by the OLED panel is mapping its touch screen as two extra buttons for gaming purposes. I'm not sure how practical that is, especially given that the rear touch panel on the PS Vita never took off, but you never know, the hardcore mobile gamers may actually want this type of feature badly. The rest of this Android 8.1 phone is pretty much standard flagship material. You get a Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 along with up to 8GB of RAM, up to 256GB of storage, though there's no microSD expansion, a 3,800mAh battery, with quick charge 3.0 but no wireless charging, and dual nano SIM slots all tucked inside an aluminum frame. While there's no vapor chamber cooling here, the Nubia X uses a multi-layered graphene heat spreader instead. Thanks for watching this video. Do subscribe our channel for future updates.